Now, our weekly commentary, Steel Resolve. Here's Sarah Steelman. Thanks, Kevin. I may be a lone voice in the conservative wilderness, but it won't be the first time. Mike Huckabee's comments about the Democrats' fake war on women and the Republican war for women are typical and predictable. I am a woman, a conservative, pro-life, former Republican officeholder who ran against the infamous Todd Aiken. My question to the RNC is, why is Mike Huckabee invited to speak to them about the so-called war on women? This is ludicrous. Mike Huckabee gave us Todd Aiken. His TV ads endorsing Aiken in the primary saturated the market in Missouri. Huckabee continued to vigorously support Aiken's misogynistic position on rape throughout the general election. And yet, the RNC invites Huckabee to articulate the Republicans' position on the Democrats' fake war on women. Yes, I confess, as a conservative woman, I didn't like it. Our party is trying to appeal to women, yet his words suggest, and to some possibly project, his true belief that Uncle Sugar easily sucks in some women because they don't know better. I have an image of Mike Huckabee patting me on the head, smiling down at me saying, we can take better care of you, honey. I won't say it is offensive, but I will say it's stupid. I understand he was attempting to articulate the Democrat strategy, but it didn't work. There are plenty of women in the party who could talk about this issue with credibility. How about Senator Kelly Ayotte or Governor Sarah Palin or Senator Deb Fisher? Does the messenger have to be a woman? Not necessarily. But if the Republicans want to win races, we have to attract independent voters, both men and women. The messenger has to be credible. And let's face it, why is Mike Huckabee talking about women's contraception and a woman's libido? Let him talk about a man's libido and Medicaid coverage of Viagra. The Republicans have an effective message of economic freedom and prosperity for all Americans, regardless of race or gender or sexual orientation. How about we talk about that for a change? This is Sarah Steelman for Serenet Radio.